Pisces, it's Abby. Welcome to your reading. Uh, this is going to be oof, a little timeless reading for you guys today. What we're going to be looking at is um, it's sort of like your blind spot, what you can't see in a, in a certain situation, okay? So we're going to be looking at what the situation is, what you already know about it, what you might not be able to see at this time, and then asking for advice as well. I'm also going to pull oracles. Um, I haven't decided which ones, <laughs> but we'll figure that out as we go. Okay, so this is timeless. If it resonates when you find it, the, the date and the, when it's posted has absolutely no bearing on it. And this is a Pisces exclusive channel. Um, so if you are a Pisces or like to check out Pisces material often, then this would be a pretty cool place for you to be subscribed to. I know I would love it. It would make me super happy. Um, follow your own bliss, though, you know, whatever. Let's see. Thanks to all my OGs, everybody, my Oracle gang, people who hang around to the extra cards at the end. You guys are a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful support. And I really appreciate you. So, okay. So, Pisces, the situation itself is being represented by the chariot card. So usually this is a card of like victory, of winning at something, right? Um, we can be making great change. We, it's a card of movement. Um, and since it's a major arcana, it's more of a, it's something bigger that's happening um, around you. If this represents a person, they could have associations with the sign cancer, but they don't have to. Um, this could be someone who's like super ambitious. Um, and there's like a need to win and just like keep charging forward. Someone who doesn't like to rest on their laurels like at all. <laughs> They're not interested in that, right? As a personality type. Um, let's see what else we can see here. So there could be a situation for some of you. This could be about moving, transportation, your car in particular. Sometimes the chariot can talk about that. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, so Queen of Pentacles is involved in this situation. It could be an earth sign person, um, so like a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. For some, this could also indicate a mother figure or yourself if you are a mother or um, trying to lean into like those nurturing kind of needs of your own. For some, this feels like it could also have to do with changing your... Uh, resourcefulness. The Queen of Pentacles is someone who lives in a kind of her own luxury. She has made her home as um, abundant as she can within her means. She's also not someone who spends frivolously, okay? So this wouldn't be someone who, like, when I say lives as luxurious as they can within their means, it means that, like, you know, maybe they don't use solo cups, you know, <laughs> like red plastic cups from the grocery store for their everyday stuff. Maybe they like to drink out of like a nice stemless wine glass for their, you know, and they got them at maybe not Dollar Tree, but maybe something a little above Dollar Tree, you know, but they did, they didn't get them at the fancy crystal store, but they still like to take care of stuff, right? So they, they like for things to look nice. Um, they like to look their best. They are a shrewd business person. They're very wise with their money. Okay. Interesting see how okay so this situation is presenting itself as I think it's a reaction to someone not making a decision or there being like a, a lack of ability to to see a way through something here to make a choice so it feels like, well, now the only thing to do is change, right? The only thing to do is change the whole thing, is to uproot things, is to change it. Yeah. Someone or something, you could be coming out of a cycle where you spent some time feeling like you didn't have the information that you needed to do what you wanted to do. Your emotions were maybe more daunting and your emotions were maybe ruling your mind and creating the sense of like um, defensiveness, right? Of having to be on guard all the time. Oh, okay. Interesting. 
with the Hierophant, you could have perhaps, um, it could be a Taurus person involved in some way. This is presenting itself to you in some place that either has to do with like authority figures, um, traditions, religion, spirituality, higher spirituality, okay? Um, it could be even in maybe like the, the hierarchy that you, because there's an obvious hierarchy in this card, okay? So there's like the people who are serving the Pope or learning from the Pope. These can be seen as students, employees, servants, whatever, right? Um, and so for some of you, I feel like this could be taking place in a workplace that is like a large corporation. Um, for others, this could be happening in um, large organizations like a hospital, a university, um, something like that that you're dealing with, okay? For some, it could be the theme of the tradition and spirituality. So for a lot of people uh, around the world, the like say religion or spirituality will be linked to like their cultural practices and then that becomes like a big deal, right? So there, that's where we get that theme of like tradition, right? So there could be something that's like, it's happening in a way where it's like on the field of the way that we've always done it because this is the way we've always been told to do it. And so it's kind of held very dearly to, to a lot of people, okay? Interesting. But there's this very decisive requirement for change here that I feel like um, is happening for you here, Pisces. You're seeing a, a decision a winning attitude, you're, you're totally okay with breaking free from things. Yeah, interesting. Okay, so the things that you do know about the situation, we have the strength card. Could be a Leo person who's of some kind of importance. Um, this is also like the amount of patience that you've had to have the amount of restraint that you've had to have in this is actually pretty, you, you're very aware of this. You know that you've been strong. You know that you have been um, battling with the things that are troublesome to you. And you've been somehow managing to maintain this like very classy overall composure about it, right? You might be a hot mess for a minute, but then you recover back to this like, whoosh, like calm, collected kind of thing. You know very well that you have been um, doing dangerous things delicately, doing difficult things delicately, okay? Um, and like with not as much force as you may be tempted to right now. You're controlling things in a way that's like very gentle and like allowing yourself to not appear flustered outside of yourself. Okay, so you have the Six of Swords. Um, this is the card that talks about <laughs> the moving on card, right? Um, there could be things that are happening at a distance. Um, this could be someone or something that is involved that is at a distance. For some of you, this could include trying to move or go somewhere else with your children, okay? Because we have like um, a figure and then a child together uh, in this boat with all the swords. For some of you, the person who is involved with like, gives you the most information or that you feel like you um, have the most clarity from in the situation is someone who travels a lot. Um, this could be someone who um, runs from their feelings. They have that kind of personality where they never stop moving because they don't want to settle in one place too long. And I don't know if you've ever heard that um, phrase that's like, no matter where you go, there you are, right? <laughs> so it means to us that no matter, like even if you get super fed up with your life and you transplant yourself to another place, you can, you could draw a lot of benefits from removing yourself from the situations and the people and the places and the things that were in the old place that you were in. But the person that they affect affected you into becoming um, as a result is still you no matter where you go, right? So even if you've left the place, you still need to like 
be mindful, um, honor the person you are, think about the ways that it's contributed to you negatively and positively, like be aware of that, right? Otherwise, it feels like some people, certain people have this, that hopping, um, place hopping thing where they just move around in one way or another and it's like they don't settle. Um, yeah, because they're running from something. Some people do. For some of you, not all of you, of course, it's a general reading, so only take it if it makes sense. Interesting. Okay, so this for a lot of you is presenting itself in regards to things like with the Four of Wands, your housing, um, trying to get to the next level of something, right? Um, there's an accomplishment that you have been really wanting to make, whether that's like a to graduate for something, maybe to get a degree or a certificate. For others, it's like being in a place where you want to buy your own home. So you could be thinking of re relocating because you know that that's, you know, maybe you live in a, a place where it's going to be more difficult for you to do that. And you might have to move somewhere else to do that. Um, it could be for others, like I said, like to do with education, um, where you're graduating from something. It's a really celebratory kind of energy. It's like moving on, but so that I can have something better. Let's see here, Pisces. In the Empress. Okay. For a lot of you, this is taking place in the area of your like your self-worth. This has a lot to do with your self-worth and your self-esteem, how you see yourself. I'm noticing that this is capped, right? The situation and what you know about it is capped and ended <laughs> with major arcana cards, okay? So this feels to me like it's very much in, it's the larger picture of life and you're just trying to kind of figure out the mundane everyday stuff that needs to be figured out here. For some of you, this is very connected to your sense of self-esteem the changes that you want to make, the way that you want to live in yourself and in your 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 environment um, that make you feel good and prosperous and abundant and happy. Um, and that feels like it, the way that the situation is right now, there's a bit of a sense of control, right? The Hierophant is a bit of a controlling energy. Um, what would we say? That's the word. It's didactic. Like it tells you what to do. <laughs> and and it just feels like you just want to receive um, the life that you want and that you dream about. You want to put yourself in a position where you can start to not only go and get the things that you want, but just start to feel in a receiving energy of, of not having to control everything and having things just kind of come to you um, and feeling good enough to let things in when they feel worthy of letting them in. Okay. What you don't see about the situation right now. Okay, so we have six of pentacles. <sighs> um, there could be a theme of helping and charity, having a benefactor of some kind. Some of you, there could be help or supports available to you, um, monetary supports or energetic supports. Um, that you could not, maybe you're not aware of, maybe you're not sure where you could go for help, maybe you're not sure where you could go to receive some kind of reimbursement or program, scholarship, uh, grant, um, yeah, stuff like that. You just might not be aware of it right now. Hmm. Page of Swords. You could have a younger um, air sign person who's involved in this in some kind of way. Even if they're not younger, this is someone who hasn't lived enough life to feel like a knight or a king. They're still sort of in pupil mode. They may not be aware of the fact that they're in pupil mode, but they are somehow involved in the stuff that you can't see kind of going on behind the scenes. I want to know how they're involved. Oh, five of pentacles. 
this feels to me like, okay, the Page of Swords doesn't always give me like a snarky, crappy person vibe, but for some reason they are, okay? This could be someone who presents themselves as having a very level head of being good at taking in information. Um, they may be very good at presenting themselves as like a very learned and very knowledgeable person, but they're kind of just at the, they only have like a surface level knowledge of things, okay? I'm kind of seeing how like they're staring at this six of swords and I'm not getting the nicest vibe off of them. So this feels like there could be this person who they have like a sort of a sharp tongue. They can be quiet at times and observant. It's not necessarily shyness. It's like a calculated feeling. I don't feel like it's super evil or bad, but it feels like it's someone who just has like a insecurities within themselves with this five of pentacles. This feels like if any of you have experienced this with a friend or family member, I mean, I have, right? Where I've been like, maybe I've thought of moving to different cities because I have a lot of friends who are in these other larger cities and I've debated about it, right? And like, what would I do? Um, how would I go about doing that? And I've had family members where I'm like, I'm, you know, I'm seriously thinking, I'm like, I'm considering moving to wherever. And they go, well, what would you even do there? And it's like, well, whatever I want to do, <laughs> right? I have a whole lot of things that I can do. And they just, they just, and like, well, you know, what I know from people that were, live there is this, that, and the other. And they give you this very sort of like, um, like surface level stuff where you're like, I understand that that's a lot of people's experience. Um, however, I like, you maybe don't know all of the details of what I'm working with. I feel like you may have kept some things to yourself here also, Pisces, about what it is that you really want to do and why, um, what your financial situation is, what your work situation is, even like what your skills and abilities are. You may not have even told everything um, to this person, but they may not have a great, um, may not have a great opinion of it for some reason. Interesting. Oh, okay. What you don't know about the situation is that it's actually an ending. It really is. There's something you may not feel like totally that it's over. That could be why perhaps you were making plans and you were trying to, like you've been sinking into your self-esteem. I can see this with the, the queen of, of pentacles. Um, the chariot is a card of high self-esteem. The strength card is a card of high self-esteem. Um, the empress is a card of high self-esteem, right? Um, and it feels like you've been maybe going like, I have this urge and this desire to change something here. Um, but I'm weighing my options, right? I'm not completely sure. And there's some stuff, maybe there are some things that are sort of bigger than you. Um, that you are trying to figure out how you would deal with, right? Maybe the place you want to go is, is like in a different country and you'd have to learn the language. Or maybe it just like, you know that the people in, I don't know. <laughs> I know a lot of my people in the States are in the States. So I'm just like, maybe you were born in the Midwest and you know that East Coast people are different, but that's where you feel called to go, right? <laughs> and you're just like, I don't know if I'll deal, if I'll hang with the culture. Um, but like, I feel like I need to try, right? There's this sense of wanting to go. You may not realize right now just how over this is for you, right? Um, yeah, it's so over. Ten of Swords is like something is super, super duper done. Um, there is hope on the horizon. There's new beginnings. Tens are always both the ending and the new beginning, right? Because the end doesn't just linger there. The, the ending marks the beginning of something else, right? Which makes sense to me because you have the Ace of Swords next in your advice. So you might not realize it yet, but it's like, it's already so over that it feels like you could have a sense that you're lingering in an energy that you shouldn't even be entertaining anymore, Pisces. And I feel like this is trying to tell you like, yeah, yeah, that's what's going on. Um, this is definitely happening in an area where you are planning for expansion, okay? 
you can't necessarily see right now the ability to expand that you have the ability the ability to expand if it's things like your business your education your worldliness um to meet new people to to go to other places um to expand your reach in all kinds of different ways whether that's like your knowledge or your passions or whatever you may not see that you're kind of primed and in a position to open up to the world and send yourself out into the world right that might not be completely obvious to you but it's there it's there okay so in your advice we have ace of swords this is honesty truth honesty victory right um taking a really truthful communicating truthfully um you know everything is done with integrity and clarity above board There are friends um, or like-minded people that you would be able to lean on, people that can help you with those communications. Remember how I said what you don't see is that there could be people who are willing to help you or places that you're willing to go. Even if there is some kind of negativity, like someone might be snarking at you and, and your goals and your ideas, right? there are people who will get what you're putting down they're gonna like it <laughs> because everybody has like a little soul tribe out there kind of waiting for them and i feel like there's a way for you to find those people two of cups can be a card of love right it can also be a card of great friendship great business connections um communication is paramount when it comes to the two of cups it's people being able to see eye to eye and communicate freely and well right so that they can take care of each other and whatever the situation is there so it feels like there's people who want to aid you um, look for those people look for the helpers okay you are the five of swords as your advice This is sort of happening on a, on a battlefield in a way of your own mindscape of which position to take, what to put forward, what to hide, what to keep back with, who to go after, when to let your, you know, your tongue fly <laughs> and when to hold it in and hold it back. I'd say sometimes in positive sense, the five of swords can be a card that invites us to set ourselves apart, that we don't have to necessarily a part, be a part of the pack, but can warn us not to try to win at all costs, right? Um, don't make enemies where you don't need to. Don't, don't burn bridges that you don't necessarily have to, okay? There will be some losses with this change this looks like a big change that you're trying to make here and i feel like you're already in the process of doing and that you are already aware of you may already feel that there are some people who are starting to detach themselves from you or who are behaving in ways that are making it obvious to you that they need to detach from you right um figuring out which friends are actually like they only want you around because misery loves company and they they like it when you guys are in the same vibe, but now that they see you doing something different, they, they just might not be feeling as connected to you. And it's like, there's these funny little snarky things that are happening, I think that are alerting you to certain people that you're like, I don't necessarily wanna write them off entirely quite yet. There's other good people who are coming into my life potentially with this advice. Um, but I think to allow yourself to see those things clearly when they happen, okay? like negative comments or things like that ah see and there we go it's walking <laughs> the eight of cups yeah definitely so it's you're walking off to do your thing to find your destiny this is probably happening quite quickly for a number of you whoever this is for um it feels like it is um with the eight of wands being at the bottom of the deck something to do with like moving or travel 
um, maybe with communication or things like changing your changing something very quickly. Okay. It's a card of very positive change and victory, but it's like something's changing very quickly here. Your advice is to let yourself walk away from the stuff that doesn't serve you, doesn't make you feel good. Um, letting go of situations you may have sacrificed too much for without there being enough reciprocation. Okay. I'm just going to grab a couple oracles to close off. Change. <laughs> and it has a car on it. Isn't that interesting? Um, yeah, something about cars, transportation. It says change or movement in your life, new directions, relocation, progress, change of view, job, partner, or heart. Yeah, you're going to change a heart, possibly. That's made you just kind of go like, it feels like you're like, okay, I'm just going to, I got to pack the car up and get the heck out of Dodge. I got to, you know, you're already on a trip to one destination and something has happened where you're like, nope, I got to turn the car around. I got to go somewhere else, right? Like that's what's happening there. What you know. Interesting. So we have enemy. It says rivals, friendships, competitors, fights, hostility to be vigilant, opposing ideas, and inner conflict, revenge, and clashing. Interesting. Some of you could know that you have an enemy in the situation. Some of you could know that it could be external or it could be internal, right? We can be our own worst enemy as well. But there might be some rivalries that you're aware of in your current situation, and it could be um, very much connected to why you're wanting to make these changes. What you're not aware of, we have gift. Gift is saying... That's beautiful. It says recognition, receiving gifts, rewards, flattery, reconciliation, a pay rise, helping our helpful offer and welcome impulses. So you may not know that what you're going through here and allowing an ending to occur could result in a gift or even the snarkiness, the weirdness that there's a gift that you're in it that you're not aware of yet. You'll look back on it and reflect on it and go like, yeah, that was actually, strangely enough, a, a huge gift to me. Again, could also talk about receiving something from someone um, or an organization or something like this. Gifts, rewards. And in your advice. Ooh, okay. So we have caregiver. This is... Support to seek advice, get help, physical and emotional healing, healers, self-care, recovery, and service. Remember, I was like, be really truthful. There are people out there that really want to support you. Um, you don't have to be a lone wolf in this situation. Take care of yourself. It's, it's like a, it's a whole process for you here. Is If you have also been in a situation where you have been um, a caregiver for a long time to someone else. This could be you switching things to taking care of yourself, right? Um, and you might be needing like, a, like if this isn't a partnership, you might be needing a break from that partnership or even just a trip, a vacation away, something like that, where you're just like, I need to go clear my head and figure this out and like need to be able to take care of myself as well in whatever this is. Interesting. Okay, Pisces, this is what I got for you. I hope this was helpful to you in some way on your journey. Remember, if this didn't ring for you, it's impossible for it to ring for everybody, um, but hopefully it did for a few of you out there. Um, feel free to check out some more that I have to offer on the channel. There's a bunch of timeless readings, and the monthly reading for November is going to be going up tomorrow, um, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, lots of love. Take care of yourself. I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.